Hey everyone, it's Chiligong, and here are some quick beginner tips if you are new to playing Tick to help your general gameplay. Similar to Barley, Tick is a thrower, and its main role is a zoner, meaning trying to make your enemies avoid certain areas, or move them around the map to places that benefit your team and inconvenience the enemy. Think of yourself as a sheep herder. You want to herd your enemies to control where you want them to go. Zoning is about prediction, but common places to try and place your shots would be in front and around objectives like a gem, the brawl ball, or bolt, or in entrance ways that people need to go through. Also like most throwers, you want to try and use walls as cover where you can, since you can attack over them, but enemies have a harder time accessing you. Important to note is that Tick's attack spreads out the farther you aim, and cluster closer together the closer you aim to yourself. From a distance, it is possible to cover huge sections of a map, which is what makes Tick so annoying to play against. Given its area of coverage, Tick's attacks will poke and slowly wear people down, which will also help charge its super. Tick's super is a bomb that will automatically follow the closest target, meaning it can change targets to whoever or whatever is closer. It is generally more useful to try and throw it directly onto somebody, so it's a sure hit to help cycle your super. It is still possible to use your super from afar and let it run farther away from you, but you risk it being taken out without doing any damage, particularly against long-range brawlers. Sometimes, this can be useful to help waste their ammo, but ideally, you want to be doing damage with your super. Tick's super also causes a bit of a knockback in the direction it was traveling, and so one combo you can do is to place your mines where the enemy will be knocked back into to do extra damage. Tick's preferred gadget at this time of recording is Last Hurrah, which gives him a 50% damage reduction shield, after which it bursts in a small radius to do 1000 damage with a tiny bit of knockback. You can also place mines behind an enemy in the direction you will knock them back for extra damage, similar like with his super. Note that you can also use his shield to survive a long-ranged attack, such as against a Piper or a Brock, even if you don't do the extra damage, which can be helpful in modes like Bounty. Be careful though, if your health is too low, you can still die even with the shield. Both of Tick's star powers are quite valuable, but its star power, well-oiled, works well in combination with its shield gadget, Last Hurrah. With this star power, when Tick takes no damage and doesn't attack for about 2 seconds, he can start recovering health, which is quicker than just regular standing still. This star power often kicks in as soon as you're using your shield gadget, which can help you stay in the fight a little longer. His other star power automatic reload is still helpful in keeping Tick extra annoying, as since your reload speed is shortened by 9%, you can place more attacks to whittle your opponents down. Hope these quick tips help your Tick gameplay. See you in game.